Phil Spencer recently talked about splitting up Halo Infinite's release for multiplayer and campaign. Also talked about Master Chief Collection playing on the Xbox Series consoles and information on the delay of the Halo 4 flighting. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. This means you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video and stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So I thought this uh, story was kind of dead in the water and kind of cleared up and it's not happening, but a recent interview was Phil Spencer himself, the head of Xbox, talking about Halo Infinite and the Series X lineup of games about how Halo Infinite's release might be split up into campaign and multiplayer. If you guys remember, a while back, right around August, Phil Spencer went onto a podcast and talked about the release of Halo Infinite, Eurogame and Ropesay here. I will link all this information in the description down below. While you're down in the description, make sure to check us out on Twitch, guys. We stream almost every other day and we're doing a lot of Halo content. We're doing the Halo 4 flight as soon as that goes live. But anyways, back to the topic here. And so, uh, talking about the Microsoft considering a launch of Halo Infinite in two different kind of pieces right here. Uh, if you guys remember, a while back, like I said, in August, um, on the Animal Talking Twitch chat show with Phil Spencer, he talks about how his conversation with 343 and Bonnie Ross, as well with, along with Matt Booty, talking about potentially releasing Halo Infinite as separate games, as in just a multiplayer release, and then later on maybe just the campaign release, depending on which one's ready first. Phil Spencer did mention here specifically saying it, it just didn't feel to all of us like the Halo release we wanted and continues on saying it's such a bummer and stuff like that and talking about how it would have been great to have it on there but you have it right now on the series x i play mcc and stuff like that and um it was kind of like okay they thought about it they talked about it and that's about it so there's not really a whole lot else to go off of here but this has resurfaced in a recent interview on Kotaku with Phil Spencer. But I kind of want to read this exactly so there's ease up on a little bit of confusion here. But Phil Spencer even mentions that he recently played Halo Infinite very, very, very recently. So the game's still very playable. He's getting his hands-on experience to try to test out the game, see what the current state is. He says Halo Infinite was going to be an Xbox Series S and X big game at launch. Sadly, the game was delayed in August. Phil Spencer says he played Halo Infinite recently, just a week ago, and there are no updates right now when it comes to the release of the game. Now, the interviewer here did talk about, you know, possibly releasing Halo Infinite campaign at a different time than the multiplayer if one is be done before the other one. And like, these two different aspects of Halo are very separate teams. Like, yes, it's all Halo, it's all 343, but uh, you know, these two different teams are very much like centered on themselves and don't really overlap a whole lot. So potentially one could be done before the other. And obviously with the crazy state of everything in freaking 2020, like why wouldn't this happen? You know what I mean? <laughs> Bill Spencer is quoted here as saying that Bonnie Ross, who's the head of Halo's franchise, and the team will go drive those decisions. But I think we want to make sure people feel like they have Halo experience. I think we can look at options like that. So yeah, I think that's something to think about, but we want to make sure we do it right. Now, yes, this kind of brings it back up that maybe they're reconsidering the release of Halo Infinite in separate entities. Uh, personally, I think it'd be better if we all just kind of wait, get all one big package and everyone will be happy. But it kind of depends on the time frames. Like, does the campaign need like another year? Does the multiplayer need like another year of development? Or like, say like vice versa, one or the other can be done within two months where the other one needs another eight months? Then in that case, I'm okay with releasing the separate entities at that point, guys. Uh, though, uh, personally, yes, I would prefer it all to be together because that's just kind of the proper Halo launch we would all expect to have, especially since Halo launches have been pretty rocky really ever since uh, Master Chief Collection uh, with the bugginess of that, along with the lack of content that we had with Halo 5's launch. And to kind of run through that lack of content again with Halo Infinite, again, obviously, different contexts and circumstances, but you kind of get where I'm going at here that, you know, as Halo fans, we want a solid release of this game to kind of offer everything we want because there's so many different subsects of the Halo community that enjoy Halo in their own specific ways that it'd be really rough for one community to get part of Halo Infinite and the other one 
having to wait. Now, don't forget, we also ha recently had the leaked on 4chan talking about the reveal that we probably will see for the XO20 Xbox event happening on November 9th. We we'll definitely will be keeping an eye on that, guys. If anything happens from that uh, XL20 Halo related or anything big, guarantee you guys I'll let you know on this channel as soon as that information happens. And just a quick word from our sponsors, aka, well, me. We actually recently put together a uh, storefront for you guys for a different kind of merchandise you want to check out as well. Link in the description down below and also below this video will be some links for some specific items if you want to click on those. This is through Teespring. A lot of people use Teespring and just some kind of basic kind of stuff you guys want to support the channel. I would really appreciate it. We've already had some purchases, so thank you very much for you guys for your support. I really do, really, really, really really do appreciate that. We do have some more designs coming in the future as well. I'll let you guys know as soon as those go live. And also with that XO20 event, we are supposed to get some kind of multiplayer reveal along with an additional campaign reveal to kind of showcase everything that has been changed since July's demo. Until then, we're pretty much just waiting around and just kind of seeing what kind of information eventually drops for us. And we also, also had some information on the Master Chief Collection. There's been some kind of rumors going around saying that it won't be backwards compatible for some reason or something like that. Uh, they actually do clarify this in this news article as well as you can see it right here. Uh, whether on the Xbox One's Master Chief Collection will be supported by the Xbox Series S and X backwards compatibility after a report that the games do not work on one reporter's Xbox Series X private unit. Uh, Phil Spencer basically just kind of goes in saying that it may not have been cleared for testing when it comes to the Master Chief Collection, but uh, he fully expects the Master Chief Collection to work properly. Backwards compatible game for the Series S and X. Now I know we've been having some conversations about Master Chief Collection and whether or not it will be uh, optimized for the new consoles. And uh, I wouldn't expect to ha see that happen anytime soon, really. Uh, mainly because we already recently just got the 4K update uh, we recently just got these games almost ready all on PC. We're still waiting for Halo 4. The flash should be coming around here pretty soon. And so I wouldn't expect too much to go into that, especially since how focused the, uh, the 343 teams and associated teams with 343 uh, working along with Halo Infinite they are, that I wouldn't expect much additional features like that to be uh, added up to be you know brought in to make it like 120 when it comes to frame rates or uh, you know improved performances and things like that i think just having a backwards compatible is all you can really ask for when it comes to the mcc but it's good to know that it will be and we also have an update when it comes to halo 4 flighting the, remember this halo 4 flight does come with crossplay input based matchmaking and server region selection we have big hopes that it was going to come out this week on friday but Sadly enough, it looks like it's going to be delayed a little bit longer. There are some blockers. Ring 3, that's a Halo Insider group of people, the public insider flighting, that uh, is holding it back from going out, out for us, guys. So we have the update right here. We kind of go over real quick for you guys. I mentioned here just so yeah, we're targeting the cake and offering three activity this week. Fortunately, we're not, a, we're not quite ready as we are writing this. The team has one remaining blocker to address before they can release up to ring three. And they do mention that they're looking to get this resolved rather quickly and hopefully things will be kicking off next week. Yeah, guys, that's kind of the state when it comes to MZC coming to PC. It's ready when it's ready. And right now, it's just not quite ready. Now, you do know that a lot of people have signed up for this flight and everyone who has been signed up for it already are going to be invited. You can still sign up. It's just less guaranteed. Mention here at all eligible insiders who are in position as of Thursday at 3.20 p.m. Pacific Standard Time will be eligible to join in this and will get invite. You can still sign up. It'd just be less guaranteed for you to jump in with this flight. As so I know, this is quite the bummer. It was a bit of a bummer for me as well. I was planning to kind of build a lot of content around this and get really into it. It looks like it will be happening next week. My guess will probably, as soon as this bug is revealed and completed, that we'll have it done. Things might kind of go slow over the weekend because people are taking time off and stuff. Uh, but we could see maybe like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday kind of time frame for when we'll see this Halo 4 flight. I guarantee you, we'll be making some videos about the Halo 4 flighting as soon as it goes live, guys. Also be releasing different uh, clips, uh, screenshots, and things like that on my community page here on YouTube, as well as over on Twitter, link in the description uh, down below in this video. Just a quick overview of what this flight is gonna be bringing us, guys. We have campaign missions. We have a lot of campaign missions, actually. A lot of different uh, Spartan Ops missions as well. We have a playlist that we have for campaign. 
We have multiplayer, which is going to be 4v4, 8v8. Be free for all and infection involved with this there's going to be a competitive ranked mode as well no word on exactly what settings they're going to be using for it there's going to be forge there's going to be theater that's pretty much the entire game almost is going to be available for flighting guys so it's going to be a lot of fun we'll definitely will be live streaming it on our twitch channel if you guys want to check us out there link in the description down below and we'll also it seems like later on in this flight we'll also get a addition of crossplay, input based matchmaking and server region selection uh, definitely we'll be making videos on those as well giving an idea of how this actually plays out when it comes to actually implementing this into the mcc knowing that this flight has been delayed a little bit could mean we will see crossplay input based match breaking so region selection coming along with the release of the uh, halo 4 content as well again i'll keep you guys updated on this channel as soon as we know more about this information but how do you guys feel about the recent halo news but would you be okay with the game releasing as a halo multiplayer or just a halo campaign let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe. If you miss any videos from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos. Been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.